I'm on the International Space Station and I'm going to show you a little demonstration with water and how the meniscus of water can form both spherical and, and meniscus lenses. To make these meniscus lenses you need to start out with a sphere of water and you can use that as the lens but it's kind of hard just to make a sphere by itself. So what I'm going to do, I've got a little wire frame here and I'm going to slide this bag over the wire frame. So there the bag is on the wire frame. And I'm going to pull the bag off of the wire frame and look what I have. I'm left on the wire frame a not quite a sphere of water and it's stuck to the frame and it's really hard to have a free sphere of water and keep it in front of the camera and since this sphere of water is now stuck on the wire frame it won't float around and stick on a wall and make a mess so now here here we have this this uh, sphere it's not really a full sphere so I'm gonna plump it up and here I've got uh, a, a syringe with a little Teflon needle on it and I'm going to kind of plump this water up to make it into a, a, something close to a sphere. And, and when this thing is close to a sphere, it is what you might refer to as a double convex lens because it, it's got two spherical surfaces and both spherical surfaces have optical power and can be used as a lens. And now, oh, look at that. Am I upside down or backwards? Absolutely upside down. Okay, now I'm going to keep getting closer and closer and closer. Let me know what happens. I've got a very big nose. Oh, my goodness. So what we have here is the ISS ship's log. All ship vessels have a log and space station because it's a ship that happens to be in space we have our ship's log and we're just using this now as an example of sticking something that has print in front of it in front of this lens.